Hi guys, it's Miss Tara here with Niles District Library. Space is the place. This week we're reading There Was a Little There Was a Black Hole That Swallowed the Universe by Chris Ferry and Pictures by Susan Bartori. And this week we're talking about, you guessed it, black holes. Here we go. There was a black hole that swallowed the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a galaxy. It left quite a cavity after swallowing that galaxy. It swallowed the galaxies to fill up the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a star. It couldn't get far, that bright shining star. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled up the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a planet, a very organic, fine looking planet. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled up the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a cell. It might get unwell after swallowing a cell. It swallowed the cells that gave life to planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled up the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a molecule. It thought it was fuel, a big molecule. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled up the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed an atom. It's hard to get at them, those tiny atoms. It swallowed the atoms that built up the molecules. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled up the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a neutron. A good start to build on a neutral neutron. It swallowed the neutrons that staple the atoms. It swallowed the atoms that build up the molecules. It swallowed the molecules that fed the cells. It swallowed the cells that gave life to planets. It swallowed the planets that orbited stars. It swallowed the stars that lit up the galaxies. It swallowed the galaxies that filled the universe. I don't know why it swallowed the universe. Oh well, it couldn't get worse. There was a black hole that swallowed a quark. That's all there was and now it's dark. Some really cool black hole facts. You can't see a black hole because it doesn't reflect light. It actually pulls light within its immense gravity. The place beyond which nothing can escape a black hole is called the event horizon. The center of the black hole is called the singularity. We might never know what happens in there. Black holes warp science, space, and time around them. To us, time appears to move much slower near a black hole. When two black holes collide, they send out waves of energy that stretch and squish space itself. Scientists believe there is a huge black hole at the center of every spiral galaxy, including our own Milky Way. All right, now we've got a fun science experiment to show you what happens to a planet in a black hole. So you're gonna need a, a balloon and some tin foil. You're gonna blow up the balloon, not too big. Make it as circular as you can. And then you're going to cover it with the foil. So this is going to represent a planet, and in the environment of a black hole, it 
compresses everything down. So if you have a kitchen scale at home, um, they recommend that you, you can use, you use that to weigh it to see how much it weighs. So this is what a planet looks like before it goes into a black hole. And when it goes into a black hole, we're going to represent that by popping the balloon. All right, so our balloon is popped and a black hole basically makes it condense and compress. You're gonna use your muscles and make it as small as you can. All right, so we haven't taken any mass away. So if you weigh this on a kitchen scale, it should be the exact same mass or weight as the balloon was when it was full. So that is what a black hole does to a planet. It compresses it, makes it smaller, but it's actually the same mass. All right, so that's a cool science experiment you can do at home. And a second part to this little experiment that you can do at home is when the balloon is inflated and covered in, um, in your foil, put it in a bowl of water and see if it'll float or sink. Then pop it, compress it, and see if that one will float or sink. One is going to float, one is going to sink. Do you have any guesses? Wager between yourselves what you think is going to happen. Is the full balloon going to float or sink? Five, four, three, two, one. Because of the air in the balloon, the density in the balloon is less than the density in the water, so it will float. But when you compress it down like this, do you think it'll float or sink? Hmm. Five, four, three, two, one. So when you put this really, really dense material into a bowl of water, will it float or sink? It should sink because the density is now bigger than the water. So it should sink right down. It's an experiment you can try at home. Also, um, I found this really cool activity packet online that goes with there was a black hole that swallowed the universe. There's some cool stuff in it. There's a maze, there's a crossword, there's a coloring sheet, and you can get this for free online. There's also a recipe to make moon sand, which is pretty cool. And then there's a craft for a rocket ship in here that you can do at home. So I hope you have enjoyed Space is the Place, Black Holes. We'll see you next time for another great video. Until then, ear hugs. Bye, friends.